Okay, we're back. Now, this is part two. Um, this is Amin Mojara with Imagination Everywhere, the Reinstitute, and the Web App Company. Um, this is part two of Aptana and Visual Studio Subversion Tutorials. Um, and we're going to install the Subversion client on Aptana Studio. So I've opened up Aptana Studio uh, 3. This is uh, version 3. And again, the same process you can do on Aptana to Studio 2. So in order to um, connect with a Subversion server within Aptana Studio, you need first of all to install the Eclipse uh, Subversive plugin. So what we do is we go to Help install new software and then um, you go and you see uh, what available software sites there are so the available software site that we're that we want to um, go to is the the Eclipse Helio site now some of you might have the the software site the Eclipse Galileo site um, and if that is the case what you want to do is um, let me go down here to the Galileo. Where's Galileo at? Um, uh, Galileo. Well, I can't find it on here, but basically what it is is that if you have a URL that says downloads.eclipse.org um, slash releases and it says Galileo, just erase Galileo and put in Helios. So we got that so I already have it checked off and so I'm gonna go back and I'm just gonna click on my down arrow and I'm just gonna install uh, the Helios updates and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna expand the collaboration tab and I'm gonna go all the way down and I'm gonna check the last four boxes that say subversion that begin with the word subversion and then I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go ahead and install that on uh, in uh, Aptana Studio and this is again the subversive uh, plugin for Eclipse so I'm gonna go ahead and click next then click next again highlight Eclipse accept the uh, license agreement click finish and then I'm gonna go ahead and install it Now, once it's installed, what's going to happen is, is that you're going to have to restart Aptana Studio. And then a pop-up box is going to happen where you're going to have to install the actual Subversion clients for um, Aptana Studio that, um, that, uh, that you know, allow you to connect to the Subversion server. So you're going to have a choice of four um subversion clients and I usually uh, typically choose the first one so let's go ahead and do that here's the pop-up dialog box go ahead and click one well that's the one I'm clicking so let me zoom in and show you this is the one that I'm clicking you can install more than one but you know that'll just confuse you so um, click finish And now here's the two uh, software plugins that you need. Go ahead and click next. Click uh, next again. Accept the license agreement. Click finish. And it's going to install those two clients and then restart again. And once it's restarted, while it's doing that, the next thing you need um, is your subversion server. So remember, we went to Unfuddle, which is what I signed up with. I created my um, Unfuddle account and called it Web App Company, uh, created some projects. Um, and the project that I'm in is called Imagination Everywhere. And under Imagination Everywhere, it has uh, repositories, which you which you can create. So. I have uh, two uh, repositories right now and the Imagination Everywhere repository is the one that I'm using. So uh, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and uh, go into my repository. 
um, so that I can get the URL um, and uh, so let's click on here and I want to get the URL so uh, so what I want to do is the URL is over here so here's the URL to the repository so I want to highlight this URL and I've already made um, commits to the repository so that you know you don't have to see that so um, so this prototype folder is already there so let's go back to Aptana Studio since it, sh it should have restarted oh well I have to restart it now so let's restart Aptana Studio and so I need that URL and when you sign up for Unfuddle um, you of course like I said you create your repository and you also create a username and password and that username and password will give you access to all of your repositories and uh, just to show you let me um, just show you something um, well he's already committed to that repository um, so let me go back to the dashboard let me go back to repositories and uh, go into okay what I was trying to show you was the URL um, to the repository but um, that's not important because once you click on the uh, your first time clicking on the repository they they will give you the URL so here is Aptana open again so let's go to the SVN view um, and we want to go ahead and go to window we're gonna show view we're gonna show uh, SVN repositories and I'm gonna click that up to here no I mean that's the wrong view so let me show SVN repository this is what we wanna have highlighted and so I already have imagination everywhere um, here and the way you create a repository is you create um, um, you click on this button right here new repository put in your URL give it a custom label then put in your username and password um, and uh, the, your URL is that URL that I copied in the browser um, which is this right here so I, I want to make sure that you understand where the repository is the repository is this right here so I highlighted this and clicked on it copied it and pasted it into here and then I put my username uh, which is Mojirai Y2K and my password in there gave it a custom name like and I called it imagination everywhere and then it connected me to my repository bam so there we go so now what I want to do is I want to go back to my team synchronizing view and I want to go ahead and create a project and click on other and I want to do a project from SVN now that I have my um, uh, URL in there uh, from my repository I, I have that URL or I could have created it from a new new URL and just click next and it would have created it for me um, and go to next and click finish and what I want to do is I want to uh, go ahead and use it from uh, Let's call this uh, imagination everywhere and I'm gonna call this imagination everywhere for click next and click finish there it is there are my files now in order to uh, transfer files um, so I have these files I have this index.html file right here so let's open that up so I have this committed into the repository. Here's what it here's what it says. So um, let me just make a change to the file, copy, paste, and this uh, this is another change to the file. And go ahead and save that. Control S. And then what I want to do is I want to click on the entire project, synchronize it with the repository and then down here in the repository view 
um, I want to click on the the folder for uh, the file that I just changed, which is the index.html. And you don't want to commit your project file to the repository because that the project file is only for the purposes of uh, Aptana Studio. However, if you do commit it and you're using Aptana Studio or Eclipse somewhere else, that is the reason why you want to you know to be able to download it to have the same settings and things like that. So that's the only reason why you want to commit it. So what I want to do is go ahead and right click on the file press commit or update but this time I'm just gonna commit and this and I'm just gonna write the comment this is the third revision to the index file so click OK and I created unknown error why is this a non unknown error? Let's see here. Properties. Let's go ahead and commit it again. Update. There are no changes to merge. Yeah, there are changes to merge. So let's go ahead and commit this. And click OK. Oh, okay. It's performing a cleanup. Well, bottom line is, is that we're gonna commit. We're gonna um, uh, commit this file to the repository. Um, let me refresh this. Vision four. Um, so we've committed that file to the repository. And let me just go ahead and overwrite, override, and commit it. Click OK. And then it's committed. It, it is committed this time so we successfully um, committed it and what we're going to do is override an update click yes boom so if we look at index.html4 um, that change was not made so let's make that change click copy paste control V so let's save that file and let's go ahead and commit it. Go ahead, go ahead and commit it. I'm getting that error. Um, I don't know why I'm getting that error. Let's uh, Well, I'm going to come back in the next video um, after I solve this problem. But you're, you've seen how to set up um, Subversion in Aptana Studio. And now we're going to work on committing it to the repository, synchronizing it, and updating it, and all that other stuff. So uh, thank you for watching this video.